Now I'm going to show you the process of uh, dry mounting. The material we need is uh, uh, silicone backing paper with adhesive film uh, facing the back of the picture. And we place the four layers of fabric. You can use uh, khaki or denim. Uh, you can find in fabric stores. And uh, I have sprayed a little water uh, just to moisturize, but not to the extent to make it uh, wet. So the color, the water color, the build up will not uh, bleed. And uh, I have uh, set the temperature of my iron to uh, 180 Fahrenheit. It's about uh, between the silk and the wall. Every iron is different, so you need to experiment with yours. I put a, a sheet of um, used uh, silicone paper without the film. This, this, is, uh, this paper you released before framing. You, uh, you can iron the painting on the backing board later, but first you need to iron it on the silicone paper. So you start from the center out. You take about uh, one minute. So if you have a large painting, you have to do section by section. You don't need to press very hard, just uh, uh, stroke back and forth in all directions, evenly. You can do slow or quick, depends on your experience. Uh, basically, you want to give even high temperature to every part of the painting. Make sure they are even. And you can check the process, uh, check the effect in the process. This part is still losing. I want to. If the the iron is not enough, it's not going to stick together. So just make sure. So make sure they are stick together. Checking again. And uh, you will see some bub uh, some uh, still uh, not uh, flat enough. So you need to apply some some pressure just to iron. Like uh, if the wrinkle goes this direction, you pull them away from the you know the opposite directions. I apply my pressure near the end. Flat enough. So, no more wrinkles. What do we call this? Uh, bubbles? Bubble? Bubble. Yeah, um, you can see there's a little wave or bubble, but uh, not uh, with air in it, just because of the moisture. It's not completely dry, so I iron on the back side for uh, a minute or, or half a minute. So you can iron on the wrong side now after you have done the first, uh, the front side. Now you know why I don't cut the backing paper uh, in larger size, because if it's bigger, it will stick on the, mm -hmm. on the, on the cloth. Mm -hmm. But you can 
uh, just rub it uh, off like a, a plastic. After it, it cools down, you can peel it off from the fabric. There's no, not really a serious problem, but uh, if you have this, this stickiness on the cross and then you could stick on the front of the painting, it's a little bit trouble. You know. That's why the backing paper should be equal or less in size than the original. See this? Uh, this part is bigger. That's why you, you you have some. Because sticky there. Yeah. So then you can just uh, do this. Yeah. And you see more that. So just clean that like that. So there's no mess. <laughs> You're not supposed to keep the back forever, right? Just temporary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now um, you can peel off the release paper. Just like that, so leaving the film to uh, to the picture. So it's not adhesive until you reheat it. So you can stick it on a backing material. Could be a piece of uh, foam board, and could be um, watercolor paper. Um, can you show me? Yeah, this this is the paper you can recycle as the protecting sheet I used to when I iron. So this. There's no film anymore. Uh, this is the back of the painting with the film, and this is the front. Uh, so you can you can actually just uh, tape it on the on the foam board, so it's not going to fix on the board forever. I mean permanently. So you can uh, you, this is also you know flatten. So, but with a backing with, with a backing paper, it will. Uh, brighten the color better, so you can uh, just put another sheet of rice paper, same kind of rice paper, for example, just double it. This is what I always do. And this time you don't need to spread water. And you can iron directly if your iron is uh, clean and the backing. So now it's going to fix on the Backing paper, just like you do with the wet mounting, this step is very familiar, right? It's very similar to what you do with the wet mounting. And for safety, I just put another sheet on top. This is recommended, so there's no dirt. Even on the back of the thing, you be careful. Over. Let me see. Now the color is uh, brighter with the backing paper. Um, so this is ready for framing. Thank you for watching, everybody.